This video is a selection of the new and updated features from the February 2025 release. The full list of features can be found in the February 2025 version 20.25.02 release notes, which you can find on Brightspace Community. This month we're excited to highlight the following features. Email validation is now required when using the Copy External Mail on All Sent Messages option in email settings. In LTI, you can now remove grade associations from graded LTI content topics. Add topic descriptions to provide context for activities in the new content experience. Discover learning opportunities for professional development with Profession Path. And finally, a summary of changes made for all of the features. Let's take a closer look at this month's features. With this release, users must validate external emails when using the Copy External Mail on All Sent Messages option. An external email is any address outside of Brightspace, even if it's within your institution's domain. Navigate to Account Settings and click the Email tab. Select Copy External Mail on All Sent Messages. Once users configure an external email, this option changes to send a copy of each outgoing message to, followed by the registered external email address. After configuring the external email and saving the changes, users will receive a validation email. Click the link in the email to validate the external address. Users must validate their email to receive messages to their external email address. Click Not Verified, click to resend verification email to resend the verification email if needed. If users change their external address, they must configure the Copy External Mail on All Send Messages option again. This feature is available to all clients. To enable, ensure that the Email Send Emails to External Email Addresses permission is applied to relevant roles. This feature is not dependent on any new or existing configuration variables. In LTI, instructors now have more control over when LTI tools write grades to the grade book. They can now use the interface to remove grade associations from specific LTI content topics while editing, ensuring that grades from the LTI tools are only added when needed. To remove a grade association from a graded LTI content topic, click Edit Activity, Add and Manage Grade Items, and select Reset to Ungraded. This feature is available to all clients using the new content experience. To enable, ensure that the content create and edit modules and topics permission is applied to relevant roles. This feature is not dependent on any new or existing configuration variables. Here's another great update. Instructors can now add topic descriptions directly to activities in the new content experience. These descriptions appear on the activity page and are searchable making it easier for learners to find and understand each activity. One important change to note, inline or new tab topics are now displayed in the secondary panel, creating more space for editing descriptions. Instructors can edit descriptions for various types of topics, including LTI links, web links like Google Drive and Microsoft OneDrive, files including media files but excluding HTML files, SCORM content, both imported items and those from the Learning Object Repository, or LOR, and LOR items such as URLs and files. To edit content topic descriptions from the activity page, open the Options menu and select Edit. This feature is available to all clients using the new content experience or lessons. This feature is not dependent on any new or existing configuration variables. This feature implements the following PI items. D11060, Topic Descriptions in the New Content Experience. D10971, Ability to view descriptions for activities on the content page, New Content Experience. Thank you to those who created these PI suggestions to implement this feature. This month we're excited to introduce Profession Path, a powerful tool for professional development that allows learners to 
discover learning opportunities, and gain personalized recommendations from self-assessments. Benchmark themselves against professional standards, identifying skill gaps. Build and track their custom learning plan for ongoing professional growth. The Profession Path tool is also ideal for organizations with a competency framework and a Brightspace-powered content library of courses, documents, webinars, and more. The tool allows administrators to set standards, make learning recommendations, and export engagement data to track learner progress. On the self-assessment page, choose predetermined levels to assess against, review past assessments, and view recommended actions. Users can assess themselves across all relevant knowledge, skills, and specializations. Most users prefer to start at the level that matches their current role, but users have the option to select the next level. On the Recommendations page, explore recommended actions, courses, and resources. Browse internal Brightspace content and external materials. Filter by area or category. And add what's useful to a learning plan. On the My Learning page, build a professional development plan, track progress, and prioritize activities. View personalized recommendations, filter by category status, mark items complete, or remove what's not relevant. Users can also retake assessments anytime, plus add their own learning activities to stay on track toward their career goals. Navigate to the Profession Path Admin area to manage learner development. From the Levels tab, create, rearrange, and adjust visibility for each level. In the Recommendations tab, set, edit, and prioritize learning paths, plus track learner assessments and export data for deeper insights. This feature is available for purchase to all corporate clients. To enable the functionality, engage with D2L Implementation Services to set up and deploy the tool for your organization. Contact your D2L Client Sales Executive or Account Manager to explore more options and requirements. To use this feature, make sure the right permissions are set. Administrators need Profession Maps API, specifically Create and Manage Profession Maps, to access and manage tools and profession paths. Learners need Profession Maps API, specifically view and use Profession Maps, to access self-assessment, recommendations, and the learning plan. This feature is not dependent on any new or existing configuration variables. Finally, let's take a quick look at the other features for this month's release. In Brightspace Editor, the Accessibility Checker icon is updated to improve accessibility. Enhanced workflow and user experience in test environments with course management. D2L's Course Package Translation Service, CPTS, allows easier localization for course content. Brightspace datasets improvements for February 2025 available in Data Hub. Ipsys now prevents unenrollment and other deletions after semester end for GG4L and PowerSchool integrations. Ipsys now reduces the synchronization time enrollment differentials for one roster rest integrations. Finally, Ipsys now resolves duplicate user errors using additional log message content. We hope you enjoyed this month's release highlights. As before, you can get the full details of this month's changes in the February 2025 version 20.25.02 release notes on Brightspace Community. See you next month.